So this is what I'm dealing with at the moment. This is basically as you walk in. I kind of started this last night and everything's just went crazy. So I've got loads of stuff lying here. I've got a pile of stuff on the dog's bed which I really need to put away. I've got some shoes lying about. This here is clean washing which I need to put away. This is rubbish. It's just one of those old suction bags but I can't find the actual like suction holder thing. So I've just got to use it as a bin bag. Uh, yeah. As you can see, a big pile of stuff there. This is stuff that I tried on yesterday and then just didn't put it back in the wardrobe. And then all of this here is stuff that needs to go to charity. So it's stuff that's too big for me. So I really need to bag that all up and send that off to the charity shop today. And here is my big pile of shoes. This was all in the cupboard. This is kind of like my summer shoes, sandal kind of things. So I need to try and find a place for them. I've also got some more sandals there, coat hangers. And then as you can see in my wardrobe, I have sorted this out. So I tried everything on and this is everything that I'm keeping. Down there is like a pyjama box, which to be fair, I think I'm just going to get rid of and put it into like a couple of those boxes. There's coat hangers there. This is a cleaning basket, which I really need to move. And then in that little box is jeans and skirts and leggings, like any kind of trousery stuff. And down here this is like my comfy box so leggings like loungewear all the kind of stuff that i maybe wouldn't wear out but would kind of lounge about in i've got my doc martens and then in that little case over there i have all my winter stuff and like my hats and stuff and my fascinator but i don't really want to put them in storage or like up in the loft at the moment so i don't really know what i'm going to do with them and then this i just need to decide what i'm going to do with because it's just two kind of large shawls and a party dress so yeah i need to sort all that out and then i need to sort under the bed out which i will show you in fact i can't right now but it's actually overflowed into sophia's room so that's our suitcases for holiday which i've kind of got all our stuff out for this is stuff that needs to go to charity this is like a shawl that needs to go in my room that under there is my wedding dress which i need to put up in the loft I need to put that away um that's another suction bag which i can use which is great so yeah i'm just gonna get on with that and show you what i need to do and then i also need to tackle these drawers in here because they are horrendous and then this one in here, which is kind of sorted out, but I need some more sort through and stuff like that. And then this is just like my kind of bra and tights place, and that's like my socks and pants, which are just horrendous. Um, and then obviously I've got under the bed to sort as well. So let's go on. I'm going to put all this away first, and then I can move on and do all of that. So the next thing I am going to do is sort out my shoes. So I'm going to put like all my sandal shoes in one place and then like all my heels and stuff in another place just so I have a kind of category as such and go through and put out anything that I'm not going to use anymore. So as you can see I have a lot of shoes. So again I'm just going to sift through these, put them into categories and then I can take it from there. So in this little storage I have just like some spare blankets and stuff, <coughs> bless you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them out and I think I'm going to put all my like winter boots and heels in here because I don't really wear any of them like every single day so I'd rather have access to something like quickly that I would go to every day um, and then I'll put the rest over there.
so that is that little bag full I've got my running trainers which obviously as you can see I do not use all the time I've got some heels and I've got boots as well um, so I've left two pairs of boots in this one here which is those two which are my kind of go to boots if I'm going anywhere and I wear one pair for work as well um, and then I've just kind of laid my other shoes out just now so I'm going to tidy that up but yeah so far this is now full so that can go on the back you could almost call that like my winter shoe collection um, and then I just have all my sandals and stuff that I need to put away as well now And this is the current shoe situation. So this is everything that I would wear on a daily basis. Um, it doesn't look the prettiest, but at least it is in some sort of order. So yeah, that is current shoes. So the next thing I'm going to do is just give the bed a little dust, like in all the edges, and then I'm going to go in with the hoover and hoover underneath as well, just to make sure it's all nice and clean. This little box here is bedding, which obviously we need access to, so I'm just going to put this at the front of the bed. This is the shoes that I'm not going to wear every day, so I'm just going to pop them at the back of the bed. Okay, so this here is obviously blankets, which I'm going to put some away for the dogs because they will use them. But obviously the crocheted ones, which are by my mum, I'm not going to. So all of this stuff, along with my wedding dress, I'm going to put in one of these bags, which is from Ikea. And it is like a mould proof, damp proof bag, so you can put it in the loft. So I'm going to put all of that in and stuff that needs to go up to the loft and it can go in that bag so it's nice and dry and it's not going to get damaged. So that's all the blankets there that I'm going to save for the dogs for, like extra blankets for them. This is my little shawls which I still need to decide what I'm going to do with them and I'm keeping that blanket out because that's going to go under the couch in the living room. That's all charity stuff. That's stuff that I need to either bin or put into the charity and I also need to sort my bags out. So this here is all of our towels that we use so again we are going to need to gain access to it so I'm just going to pop that under the bed as well. This little one I think might be empty. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is put all of my handbags in there. Okay, so I've kind of filled that up with all my handbags. So again, I'm just going to pop that under the bed. I'm just going to go around and any shoes that need put in the bin, I'm going to put in this bag or any that are going to charity, I will put in that bag. So this over here is our swimming bag. It contains everything that we use for swimming. So I've got one of our towels that I'm just going to put in there as well and then just one of our little beach bags. And again, I'm just going to pop that under the bed. As you can see, we've still got, got a box there which is empty, which is good. These are the blankets and the box for that is in there. That needs to go downstairs, that's there, it's closed. Need to decide what I'm doing about them. And now I'm just going to go on and try and tackle this bit. I'm going to bring everything out, give it a wipe over, and then I can decide what I'm going to do from there. Okay, so 
in here is just like my hats and accessories, fascinators, stuff like that. So I'm just going to pop them underneath here. And then this over here is my jeans, skirts and like kind of legging stuff that I wouldn't normally hang up. So I'm just going to pop that back in. And then this last box is now filled with like my kind of loungewear and pyjamas. To be honest it all kind of rolls into one for me. I don't really wear pyjamas anymore. So yeah I'm just going to go ahead and pop that back in the cupboard as well. So I've actually just put all of these three things in the bottom of my cupboard just so they're all kind of like in one place. So yeah it's looking nice and neat and I now have this shelf which is nice and empty. So that is my wardrobe and now I'm just going to leave it at that at the moment because I've still got drawers and stuff to go through but it's looking a lot better now and I do know that I can get three of these sets of like kind of pull out drawers from Argos I think and you get three of them and they're smaller, I think they might be about that size um, but they would fit in perfectly there and I think I might get another three for up there as well but yeah, a huge improvement and I'm feeling a lot more better about everything that's in there Ok, so the next area I am going to tackle are these two sets of drawers which are just awful there is so much stuff in here that I need to go through and I need to tidy up that as well but I'm going to go through all of this first and bin what needs binned and do what I need to do with everything else. What can I do? What can I do when you're so I've got another set of those drawer dividers by Ikea so I'm just going to open them up and put them in the drawer. finally found some more drawer dividers so I'm just going to show you what I've done now again some hair accessories I've also got some cotton buds in there as well brushes, hairspray heat protection spray um, volumizer bobbles, elastics scrunchies hair ties, hair bands hair everything that you could think of got some Kirby grips and some hair dividing clips in here this is my everyday makeup basket so this is stuff that I use every single day so I've just stuck it in one place so it's all together so in the morning it's just a case of lifting it and then at the back out of reach I've got the fire lighter or like candle lighter and some candles and um, just so it's not in reach of Sophia and then this one down here I've got some face cloths and uh, makeup remover cloths, skincare, moisturiser, sunglasses, jewellery, occasional makeup like all my makeup, I've got my brushes, perfume, lipsticks, lip glosses, earrings and fake eyelashes and fake nails, looking so much better. In this top drawer I have some socks so I've just got like my kind of slip on shoe socks, I've got full socks and then trainer socks, this is my book. And then in this one is basically just a whole bunch of pants which you don't want to see. And then in the wardrobe I have just up until I get some new storage, just stuck all my tights in there. And then my bras are in this one as well. So yeah, I'm feeling a lot more organised. However, I still have all of this to sort, which is fine. And um, like I said, that's going downstairs. I'm going to vacuum pack that so it can go under the bed because it's all kind of wintry stuff. This is dog's blankets, which I need to put away as well. Our cleaning basket, which I might just pop in the cupboard for the moment. So I've got some of these pack and vac. These were 4 99 and they were from Pound Stretchers. They come with 
two jumbos and three smalls so I'm just going to take the small out and put all the kind of wintry stuff in it so I can get that ready to hoover up. So that's pretty much everything done in here. Um, as you can see, I have put that stuff. So these two bags here have to go in the loft in that like dry proof bag thing. But I thought I would just double protect them by putting them in one of these bags and then I can just hoover them up and it will suck them in. That over there is winter stuff. That in the corner is Derek stuff to put away and that's blanket to go downstairs. This pile here is dog's blankets, but the dog's blanket box thing is in this cupboard. And you know when people normally save the best for last? Well, this is definitely the worst for last. So, um, yeah, this is going to take a while. So this here is our kind of like storage cupboard. And when I open it up, it is absolutely jam packed. Um, but it is in some sort of order, however, there is stuff that I need to go through and maybe chuck out or give to charity. There's a load of cleaning stuff in there that I really need to go through as well and just decide what I'm going to do with it. So let me get on with this, bring everything out and see what else needs to go back in. Okay, so it probably doesn't look anything special, however it has been tidied out. Up here I've just got my kneeling pad for when I'm doing the floors with my hands and knees. We've got some kitchen roll, we've got some toilet roll. And then in here we've got our extra supplies of like cleaning products. We've got some more kitchen roll in there, we've got some Zaflora. In this is like party bags. Um, like gift bags, sorry, gift bags, wrapping paper. I've also got our toiletry bags in it as well. It's got blue tack, cell tape, anything that you might need for wrapping presents or gifts or anything. Up here, this is just our Hoover tools. Um, so I need to try and find like a little box for that so it's all like all nice and enclosed. This is just little bottles that I need to try and do something with, but obviously not right now. This up here is our toiletries, so any spare shampoos, conditioners for Sophia, hand washes, um, shampoos and conditioners for us, toothpaste, toothbrushes, my kind of skin stuff, absolutely everything that you might need, fake tan obviously. Um, so that's everything in there. This here is paperwork which I really need to go through in more detail but I'm not doing it today. This is stuff that we need to find a place for. Also some stuff from Sophia's room for when we get shelves and stuff in the house so we really need to take a trip to Ikea and get that done. And up there that is the dog's blankets and up in this one is like a kind of memory box slash everything that you might need. So that is everything that we've been collecting from Sophia. Um, and these two boxes are just spare storage boxes and yeah as you can tell this cupboard sorry, was actually quite damp. Um, so we have aired it out and it is fine now, however we really, really need to uh, get some paint and stuff like that into it and just freshen it up. But it does the job at the moment and it's looking a lot better than it was so everything has kind of got a place. But what I will do is get some more storage boxes so I can basically cover that in storage boxes and know exactly where everything is and I'm going to go get a little label machine label maker and just basically label everything. So everything will be in boxes, everything will be stacked up there. That there is just two vases that I don't know what to do with um, and I'm sure I've got a box in the garage with like spare ornamental stuff so I'm going to go and have a look but yeah it's looking a lot better and this is what's going so yeah quite a lot of junk. I'm just going to go ahead and hoover vacuum these bags up. Oh, head underwater, falling back into you. I thought we'd be smarter, I got nothing left to lose. You said you're for with me. 
So that is everything basically put away in its place where it should be. So now I'm just going to go around the room, do a quick clean, hoover, and then that will be everything done. That is our room finally complete. Thank goodness. Oh my gosh, I need a shower and just it's been like so nice and sunny today and I've not even been able to go out and enjoy it. But I'm gonna grab a shower quickly and then I'm gonna go and sit outside for a little while and just chill out. But yeah, I'm feeling so much more better now knowing that that's two rooms done in the house, which is just fab. Um, definitely need to get some more storage from IKEA and some more storage boxes and stuff like that. But so far, so good. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you later. Bye.